Alright, we're going to be working on a, a tobacco basket tonight. I made this sign today. It's just a piece of wood with um, the vinyl attached to it. Alright, and I'm going to attach it on here on an angle. I chose this side of the wood because I thought that kind of complemented the color of the basket. Thanks, Vivian. So I'm going to use um, zip ties, I think, to attach it to the basket. Well, first I'm going to attach the vine. This is actually just a one-piece vine that I had, Ivy. I love Ivy. Used to grow around my grandmother's house. This is like a, a plant that you don't see a lot of, but oh my gosh, I love it. Let me just kind of check and see where I want my ivy to go. All right, about right there. There is like a hook on here, so I'm just going to take that hook and attach it with the zip tie. Did you all see Willie's live? She just got a set of my gnomes. I sold another set of those today. Ladies picking it up. Hi, Sue. Kind of push that down there so we can kind of disguise it so it doesn't hurt anybody. There we go. Now, because I'm not going to put any styrofoam on this, I think, I think I'm just going to hot glue the vine in place because the vine is going to support all my... Um, Oh, thanks. It's going to support all the florals that I'm adding in here. All right. So now I'm going to attach my sign. And I put the little cable ties on the back. I glued it to it. Because um, I want this sign to kind of be on an angle. So that's why I have one here, one here. Ah, oh, thanks. Sue, you should have gone, you should have went on Willie's live. She opened up a bunch of packages. It was kind of cool watching. Always like seeing what everybody else gets. Again, it's just simple wording. I actually got off of Etsy. Hey, Teresa, welcome. Okay, so we attach that to one side. Let's see if we can cut it. There we go. And then I'm going to attach it on this side. And for those of you who don't know about our private group, we go on our Zoom call tonight. Designer is Dawn tonight. Well, come on now. You need to check out Willie's storage that Steve put up for her. He did an awesome job. I know, right? She got her gnomes from me. She loved them. She's happy with them. And is Rita on? I got my prints today, Rita. I already have six gnomes pre-sold. The bee gnomes. Some want the sign, some don't. Oh, that's the worst job, Kathy. I'm having trouble getting in here. Come on now. Alright. I'm going to get serious with this sucker. 
No more playing games. There we go. Hee hee hee. Now that the shower is over, I can start on my taxes. They're in a lump in my office. If I could get my, I could get my pliers in there. There we go. Now we got it. I'm trying to disguise it. <laughs> it's being awkward. <laughs> Got it. It's in there now. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I just can't see to cut it. There we go. Yeehaw. Alright. And here's what it looks like so far. Again, I didn't want any thanks so I didn't want any styrofoam showing. So I'm gonna actually use the vine. To attach all my florals to. Now I think what I'm going to do is there. I think I'm going to just glue that to the basket. Now this was a white one that I got from Hobby Lobby that I turned around and spray painted. Plug in my glue gun talking to Willie on the phone and then I realized oh, I'm never get on my life. Should have brought the print down for the B uh, sign. It was so cute. Alright. Now I've chosen roses in red and pink and white. Different sizes. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to start with the, I'm going to put the red roses because they're, they weigh a little more and I want them to kind of be up here and then go down to the, you know, graduating in size. That's okay, hon. Understand. Thank you. I appreciate it. I want the leaf in there, so I'm going to glue that to the bottom of the flower and then glue the flower in place. Everybody having a fairly good day? No problem. I'll see you when I get there, Sue. Susan. I guess when I have Sue on, I should say Susan. All right. Now, I kind of like these. I'm not sure. I kind of like that they have this little light green and a sparkle to them. So I'm thinking about using those in there. Let me get this glued down to the vine. Hi, Rita. I got my prints, hon. They came in the mail today. In the package that says do not bend, and then they bend it to get it in my mailbox. Really? I, uh, some people, right? I have a little bit of lilies of the valley here. I want just a little pop of white behind there. So I actually have that to add to. Can y'all see okay? The prints were fine. I mean, we checked them. They're, they're good. Rita is helping me out. She printed off my, my B sign go with my bee gnomes that I can't wait to share. Alright. Now I think the next my 
like I said, I'm graduating down in size. Also think I want say I want that to go there. No, I'm gonna go with the pink there, and then I'm gonna go with three of the white ones there. I think two of them up there. I just want this to be delicate looking. That's the goal. I like these little dewjobbers. Which I think to fill in there. just trying out different color schemes here so bear with me got a little bit of a hole here so I kind of want to fill that up a little and I think I'm going to use that give it a little visual interest there did y'all have a great weekend I am exhausted on that shower. I'm so glad everything is done. It's too close to that. There we go. Let's see. What am I looking for? There. That's what I was trying to do. Now all I'm doing is waiting on my signs, Rita, to come in the metal. There we go. Another news. Hi, Linda. Welcome. We're actually using a tobacco basket. And I attach the sign to it and this piece of ivy that goes around like this. You can always go back at the end, back into my um, into my Facebook page and look for. I don't want this to spring out this way. And look under videos to be able to see the whole thing. Put a shorter piece of this in there, maybe. Yes. Just what I needed. I'm going for different textures different size roses here and some white to kind of break up the green so that's what I'm doing now I think I want to put that in there yes and notice how this is like overflowing the side of the basket I want that I want it to look like it's growing out of there. There. Alright, so there we have it so far. Hi Donna, welcome. Alright, now we're going to go with the pink rose. And that's going to go right in here. And I think going to add a couple of the white roses with it. Just a 
little threesome right there. But I think I have more of this. I do. And it was right there. See, that's on that side, so I'm going to try and get a smaller one possibly in there. I love this. I got this from Michaels. It worked out great for the uh, shower because I put it in all the arrangements just for a little texture. There we go. Again, I'm using the vine to glue everything, to attach everything to it. So I didn't want it to look, I wanted it to look natural. I didn't want any styrofoam showing. So everything is going right in on the vine. And if I have to, I will glue this to the basket to support it. It's all being held right there, but there under it. Yes. Perfect. Okay. This did not adhere. So we got to redo this one. Make a shorter stem and run it alongside of the vine. Acting up. There. Perfect. All right. Now I'm actually going to not look like in this. Which side looks better? That I'm not going to glue in because I'm going to have to put in another one because I'm not liking this. This one looks pretty deep. So I'm going to put it there for a visual, but I'm not going to glue it. I'm actually going to put another one there. But see, I need it because I don't want the white against the green. Could end with that. Don't mind me, I'm just talking to myself. Yeah. Well, we don't have to end with a pink, we can end with a red. And I already, yeah, there we go. We're going to end with a red. I know you all are agreeing with me, right? There. And then put the red in there. <laughs> yes. I use pirate ships, so I like that they can keep all my um, customers' addresses in there. So when they reorder, I can just go right back in and pull up their name and their um, their address pops right back up. So I do like pirate ship. 
Thank you, Linda. There we go. I'm getting brazen too. I'm gluing all this stuff in. <laughs> right to there so it looks like it's growing right off the back of the basket this is a first for me because usually I don't if I go with red I kind of stay with red I don't usually add pink to something but I thought in this circumstance I didn't think it would be bad you how's it looking so far you all see it okay see I kind of went do 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 staggered this granary All right, now we're gonna work on the top. And I'm gonna put my big rose up top here. Bury that in there. Last year, I bought a bunch of flowers, silk flowers off of this lady online, and she had really some awesome flowers. Got to glue to here. Oops. And I added this ribbon around the edge of the uh, sign too. Thank you, Donna. I think I'm going to go back in that way, like that. got to go in and check out her page, so Willie's page, and check out her video from tonight, her storage unit, her sh shelving is to die for, and Steve did an awesome job of putting it up, okay, so I have some of these little lilies of the valley I know it's kind of not in season but I wanted it in there I don't want that there because I don't want to hide the the sign problem. Hi, Rachel. I'm trying to reposition this one piece of ivy. There we go. I know that a lot of us are ahead on the seasons, like, you know, we're into Easter and, and everything right now, but I'll tell you what, since I've been staying on season, I've been selling. 
So I, I, I think it's great that we can get ahead and, and show things for upcoming, but I feel I'm doing better staying on season rather than being off season. Because the people that are watching us aren't always are are not always doing the same thing we're doing, and they're getting ready to start decorating their home for for um, Valentine's Day. So I'm staying on season. I may not be doing what everybody else is doing, but for me, it's working. So. If it's working, I ain't gonna mess with it. So, just my opinion. You guys don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm just saying it's working for me. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue. I may put a second one. I may end up with this one up here, but I have an extra rose, so I may, I think I'm going to put one right there. Yes. I'm going to be brave and put it right behind my red rose. Mm. Yeah, like the gnomes, I'm working on Valentine's Day, and I sold another set today, so... I think I do better if I stay on season. Because people are watching because they're looking for, if they don't do wreaths like you and I do, they're looking for something to decorate with now. So, oh no. Anybody else frozen? Tell me I'm not frozen. Tell Wilhelmina it's just her. Anybody else? Am I frozen? Go back in and come back. I mean, go back out and come back in. We'll see if that helps. Okay, Teresa says I'm not. Okay, great. Thanks, Esther. Okay, everybody's saying no frozen, Willie. It's only you. And I can get my things in three that way. Y'all feeling me? <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm, I'm not drunk. I'm just a little punchy. Trying to get back on track after that gorgeous shower. And then only to have to do it all over again for April for my other daughter-in-law. So, yeah, things have been crazy, crazy. I have another one. Let me think here. I'm not sure I want to add that. I want to do three there. I think I'm going to put the red rose there. 
yeah. Is that what we're doing? And I think I'm going to put a bow on this too. Or maybe not. Maybe the bow might ruin it. She, she said she was, Rita. So her mother was thrilled with everything. Um, she got a lot of stuff. We couldn't get in to decorate. Um, Friday night so we had to go Saturday morning and of course we had a bad ice we had ice and some snow and but um, we got it all decorated it was all ready for everybody a lot of people out of the area couldn't show up Our food was good probably So yeah, we um, it worked out. Everything worked out great, I think. So it's over with, and we're just getting ready for the next one. Hi, Connie. How you doing? Thanks for joining. Just trying to layer everything here. Maybe the one that's good here, maybe we'll put the pink one on this end since we have a red one on that end. Yeah. Let's do it that way. liking this pink after all. So I think I'm going back to the red. And what I think I'll do is this good pink we'll put in now. I want to get a third heart on here somewhere, so just thinking out loud. got the three pink roses and now I got the three red roses. All right, never mind. We're good.
you can help me decide whether I want to put a bow on this or not. pink. Put some little white ones in here. Look at that, no styrofoam needed. We did it all on the vine. Now, I might jack it up a little. Right, Levine? I don't know if these work. I brought my pit berries out. Oh, I don't know. Levine? I'm using pit berries. Thanks, Deb. I don't know, you think that's too much? Usually, in our neck of the woods, what they do with pit berries is we do this. And then when you put them in your design, they're kind of like twirled up. <laughs> Jack it up. To make them look a little viney. No, they need to be this way. I was looking for a pencil. Oh, I got a stick. That's how we do it in Pennsylvania. together. How's that look in there? Levant, can you see it? It's getting hot. There we go. Is that not, is that Berries. He, he likes them. I've got some pink and I've got some white. I don't know that, I think the green is no good. And I didn't have any red. So, we've been discussing pit berries in our group for a while now. There, Willie likes some pit berries. So I've got pink and I've got white. So, let's jack it up, LaVon. Lily LaVon loves when I say that. Just adds another little whimsy, whimsical touch. Pit berries. Pit berries get a bad rap. <laughs> Poor pit berries. Nobody likes pit berries. We do on the East Coast. And the Vaughn's starting to like them. Yeah, like, okay. Let me just show an example. 
All right. It's something I bought that I'm not. Let's see all those pit berries on there, Levon. They do them in like the country colors up here. You see that? Esther's in our group. Where's Joy? And Rebecca. And who else is in our group? There's a bunch of other people in our group. And they're not always on there. And I feel bad. We want to see them more often. I don't know. You tell me. Does that look too out of place? Maybe if they're shorter. I think they're too long. So I think if I shorten them, ooh, way to go, Levon, jacking it up with pit berries. Ooh, I wish I had red, because I really think the red would look nice. I think they're hanging down that way. Yeah, I think they need to be cut in half. Just a little bit of whimsy. that end. There we go. Just a little bit. There. Now I'm liking it better. I'm proud of you. That's a big step. Using pit bows. Just up in there further and then I can get like another one right there. There we go. Yes. But I think I need to start with pink up here then go to white, there, better, then go to pink, better, white there, and pink down here, yay! Actually, I kind of like the pink, just the pink, not liking the white. Changing it up. There. That's what we want. Wasn't sitting in there right. There's always one pit berry in the bunch. It has to give me a hard time. Some glue to clean up there. This one right here. 
right there. Yeah, the, the pink is better than the white. I like it. So let's get some up the other end. Down too far, down too high, up too high. Anybody has any questions about our group, just ask Joy or Esther. They joined our group. Team of Dream Designers. That's where it needs to go, right there. There. There we go. Now we got it. I'll just bring this up a little more. Right there. And then this goes right there. There. Now I'm satisfied. so far. This is going to be an empty area, so I don't know. Maybe maybe the bow needs to go there. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Comments? put the other heart there instead of adding the, the white flowers. Yes. So I don't want it there. I want it part of the arrangement. Alright, there we go. Stay on there. Much better. Come on now. Glue down in there, baby. All right. And somebody needs to get a hold of Ann because she had trouble getting on last week. So maybe one of us needs to walk her through it. I'm just going to place these and then I'll go back and glue them.
what do you guys think? Do I need a bow or don't I? Kathy, quit doing your taxes. Do I need a bow or don't I? <laughs> Kathy! Okay, just a minute. we found out that wasn't sticking. Would you put the bow here? Would you put it here? Where would you put it? Here? I have a few. I thought this was kind of nice. And I thought this one was kind of nice too. So I actually thought about just using those too. Where would you put it? Here's one that I have made that I took off of something else. Let's just kind of leave it around. I don't know. I think that kind of looks cute in there. Kind of different. What do you think? I know I'm not using this bow, but... Where's my other bow? I had a pinstripe one, ticking stripe one. I thought it was right here. No. Oh, wait a minute. It's right here. think if I just put the bow in there. Looks good without. Right here. Right here. right here. What are your thoughts? Just right there. Now what do you think of this? This one with a little bit of this. Or I have the ticking and it's in 
it's got glitter. Hi, Carol. We're trying to decide our bow. Come on, LaVon. Or just this. Or just this. Oh, thank you. Made my sign. Just a piece of wood with my um, vinyl cutter. I just put that across and then I glued that trim. This one. Yeah. Alright. We'll go with that one. But we're going to get rid of this green pipe cleaner because it shows. So, where is. Have more of the ribbon so I'm actually just going to take a piece of the ribbon and cut it and use it to tie the bow. So here's a red. Let's see if we can make this disappear with the red. I can always put a flower or something over it. Vaughn's like me. She likes the ticking fabric. I love the ticking fabric. I'm going to challenge everybody. If you got pit berries in your haul, I want you to use them this week. Put them in something. Let's give these poor guys a little freedom to be seen and not just in our stash. <laughs> I like that right there. All right. Let's fluff it up. And then I got to get, get going. A group is at eight. It gives me very sh limited time to clean up after the puppies. Make sure that's sitting down. I think it needs something in the middle though. So maybe. I'll find something. Yeah, one of these. <gasps> Throwing it at you. Thank you, Joy. There we go. We're all done. What do you think? I have to re-glitter that heart. It's kind of got a bad glitter job on it. Yes, we like that. I think that looks good. I thank you all for your help. And I went out of my comfort zone doing the pink with the red. I don't usually do that. And I'm kind of liking it. I know. I love ticking. Thank you. see like an empty hole here though so I may have to go back and just add a couple of 
white bruises right in here. There. Perfect. Perfect disguise. Thanks, Andrea. Right there. Now I'm, I'm comfortable. All right. Look for me on Wednesday around 2 o'clock. Um, I will be live. I don't know if I'll have my B sign ready. Rita helped me. She printed it out for me. Um, I don't know if I'll have all my supplies then, but I'll be taking pre-orders for the B. I'm going to stop at 12. I'm already at 5. Um, so if anybody's interested in the B gnome, with or without the sign, it's going to be a pre-order. And then that's it. I'm not going to be making any more. So it's going to be a limited edition. Thanks, Nanny Dot. Nanny Dot, are you available the 25th of April? Look in your calendar and message me, if you wouldn't mind. The other showers all the way up in Southeastburg, and I'll probably have to be there for a while. So... I thought it best to probably just book you now if you're available, okay? You're on my list of people to call today, and I just didn't get there. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. And look for me on Wednesday, all right? All right. Have a great evening. Bye.